Well, good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I hope you can hear me. It's, I'm early to the party. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity here in England. And, uh, and we're going to get together and do a little bit of poppet doodling today. So um, come on in. I hope that the sound is OK. Uh, Paul is in the building with you. Perhaps he could just let me know that things are switched on. Uh, I've just done a, a TV show with Janice uh, over at Clarity Towers. And now I zoomed back here. Dave zoomed me back, actually. And, uh, and now I'm back in the shack. Good morning, Anya. Good morning, good morning. Can you hear me? Sound is okay. Okay, does that mean great or does that mean there's something wrong? Hmm? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, well, that's why we come early. Paul, okay. That's not one of those words that does it for me. Is it great? That's what we want to hear. Sound is good. Okay, that's better. Come on in and then we'll get started. Just so that you know, it's been a hell of a morning here. So would you mind if we just do this? This is what we're doing this morning. We're just going to hang out together. <laughs> now he's called it super. Yeah, all right, calm down, Paul. Um, <laughs> but we're going to use the pop-it postcards. I'm going for the Christmas ones. So all you need today just so that we can get together and do this is some tracing paper or not even, possibly a micron pen um, and some colouring pencils, whatever you whatever you fancy, Faber-Castell, the polychromos or these are good as well, the pergoliners, they'll work a treat. Yeah. See, I knew it. Um, bit of a scramble. It's okay though, we'll get there. Come on in. Come on in, everyone. Let me just see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we can use them or we can use them. And all we're going to do today, because it's one of those days, is do a bit of colouring. Calm it, calm it. Hey, and um. Let's just calm down, okay? I've been running around like a headless chicken since 5.30 this morning, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. <laughs> oh, what a game. So get your colour in, and let's just calm down. What a game, isn't it? <laughs> Yesterday, I was on TV at 6 o'clock in the evening. I thought, it's quite quiet because we've been doing these beautiful flor frosted floral overlays. Linda Williams, fabulous, fabulous artwork, just exceptionally beautiful. And you, I've always got a pretty good radar of how it's going to go. And I thought, this is a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought it was going to rip the doors off. And it should have. Except, oh, Boris. <laughs> was on the other channel. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> never mind. Go on at 12 and have a look at what Paul's doing. I know it's too early. Go and have a look what Paul's doing at 12 o'clock. They are so beautiful, these packs. They are exceptionally beautiful. And if you like your doodling and you like your colouring, even if you're not a parcher, this is just gorgeous. Make lovely presents. We've got lots of them. Go and get them. <laughs> no, they're beautiful. Right. Have you got everything? Loved the shows on TV. Brought back lovely memories from the retreat, didn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. It did me too. And I really, it didn't take long to get back in that colouring groove, but I don't have much time on the telly. That's the only thing. But that's okay because um, Linda and Paul and myself in February, we said Groovy Tuesday and maybe we could have a look at those black ones, the black, the black printed ones on parchment. That might be something to think about. 
maybe you could invest in them. Yeah. Even just one of the packs, they're only four, five quid or something. Um, just pick a flower, pick any flower, because the the technique will be the same. And then we on Groovy, not Groovy, on Thursday in the Shack Shack, we could really do that beautiful black work, which is glorious. All you need is a grey, a, a lead pencil and a bit of white. So we could do that. And then on Groovy Tuesday, Paul and Linda could go through the layering. Mm. Certainly a skill builder, that one. A skill builder. Anyway, come on in. Enough waffle. Welcome to the Shack Shack. I hope that you are well. Still smiling. Come on, best foot forward. This is where you have to figure out what's controllable. Control the controllable. We can only control the controllable. What goes on at 10 Downing Street? None of my business. What goes on in my little cottage is my business. Okay, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Quite enough, quite a headache though. I do, do, do have a headache. <laughs> right, we're ready. Christmas. Let's get started. I decided, my right, my rules, <laughs> that we're going to go for a Christmas one since it's only up the road. You see, that's the other thing now. So I've got this. 18 pound turkey being delivered and I don't even know if the kids are going to be allowed to come now. We'll be eating turkey till March. <laughs> oh, turkey curry, turkey fricassee, turkey, turkey, turkey sandwiches, cold turkey, uh, turkey, turkey, tur uh, gobble, gobble, gobble. Right, this is one we're doing. How about that then? Paloma. I love her. I love her. Marina Fedotova, beautiful piece of artwork. Christmas poppets. Let's do this because you could end up making, like, like that one, ended up being a lovely birthday card. I found it yesterday and I thought, I'm pretty certain I was supposed to send that to B. <laughs> oh, sorry, B. Janet's B. Sorry. I found it. I thought, oh, no. I made it up to send to her. It'll have to wait till your next birthday now, B. <laughs> but that's the thing, you see. So you make the postcard like that, trimmed it a little bit. Make a lovely border around it. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, lovely card. See? And in these little sets, in case you didn't know, there's a little one and a large one. See? So I was thinking that maybe today we just colour in the large one. All right? And... Last week we did the, well, and never a truer word spoken, even in Latin, hey? Strength through adversity, I'll say. I might write that to Boris, so you want to get a T-shirt with this on, matey. Fortis in arduous. There you go. So this will be really nice. Now we know how to do it. Wouldn't that look fantabby tozy around here, hey? That would look lovely, wouldn't it? That kind of thing. So I'm thinking that we may combine that next week. But this week we're doing this one. Alrighty. Are we up for that? Just watching this morning. Haven't got the poppets. Oh, sorry, Jan. So what I thought I would do is add a little bit of a doodle. So what I did, what I did, I thought, well, see, you can, you can try it with a piece of tracing paper. Just fold it in half like that. And then you can, can hold, put it over the top like so. And you see you can add bits. So you see if you like it or don't like it before you mess your lovely piece up. You see? So, for example, if I take a clean bit, we could do this together. But there you go. Take a clean bit like that. Now you can use a pencil, you can use a pen, whatever your heart desires. Okay? And then just drop it into that corner so that you know that it lines up with this line, right? So you've got your registration point there. It's that, it's that bottom corner. There you go. 
And now you know that that's right. Now, whether you want to attach it or not, that's up to you. Cool. See, and then you can use a pencil, actually, if you want to, to see, or a pen. Your choice. See, so I was thinking what would be quite nice, this was just a, a thought, we could add a couple more stripes in the hat. Just It's a colouring trick, isn't it? If you add a few more stripes, then you've got a, a few more colouring options. So my thoughts were that we could add another little stripe through here. So that becomes a stripe and that's a stripe as well. And then that one's a stripe. You see, actually, I'll probably add the line on that side and that side. So you can, there you go. So you can decide, you see, when you do this, adding your, you're making her your art. Marina won't mind us doing that, I'm sure. Let me come in a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. Hmm? How's the diet going? Woo! Oh, you grey scalers. Aren't we amazing? Hey? Honestly, we had one little chat about the fact that my dad's got to put on some weight and I've got to lose a little bit of weight. There are 250 of us now in the grey scalers. No pressure, no diets, no money. It's all free. And all we're doing is it's the... It's amazing the, the power of positive thinking and the power of um, solidarity. It's that, it's that hanging together, you know, and, and patting each other on the back, just a pat on the back. And I've lost, let me see, I started out, and that was the other thing is about having the, the courage to just say, yeah, I weigh 13 stone five. I don't believe it. I can't believe it, but I did. And now this morning I got on the scales and I weighed 12 stone nine. And I thought, there you go. And and I feel like Gracie said last night when she wrote about, don't worry about what the scales say. What does your head say? How do you feel by drinking loads of water? And just, it, you know, well, hey, <laughs> I'll tell you what it is as well, right? Even if you're not losing loads of weight, just the fact that you are trying means that you're, rather than living in the problem when you're not trying, when you're not trying to do something or change something, then it's still a problem, isn't it? I consider it to be. My opinion, sorry. See, so that I can only speak for myself. When I, when I don't do anything about it and I don't change it, then it's still latent and it's I'm still living in the problem. The minute I make a conscious decision to change something, right, which I have now about my weight, even if I'm not losing as much weight as I'd like to, as quickly as I'd like to, never going to happen, right, I'm now living in the solution. And straight away, that feels good. I'm living in the solution. And like at the weekend, we went to see mum and dad and... Um, and I had some sandwiches and I had some cake. They had a little tea party with my auntie Esther and my cousin Sarah. It was great, right? And uh, and I just took the day off. And I, I just parked. I just parked the, the being careful. And I just took the day off. Didn't affect, you know. So what if I maybe weigh a pound more than I would have if I'd been eating celery sticks? Yeah. So it's about everything in moderation, isn't it? And it's that positivity. And I think if you're not in the gray, if you want to lose some weight or you want to put on some weight or you want to change the way you look or feel about yourself, you know, because we've all been packing it on during COVID, consider joining the Gray Scalers, the Facebook page. And it's it's free. It's not, it doesn't, there's no agenda here. Good God, there's no agenda here. It's just a place where you can do it in peace. You don't have to tell us, you don't, just be part of, you know. Maybe you'll get active. Just living in the solution rather than in the problem. That's the, that's my take on it. Right, and back to the poppet, the skinny little puppet. Right, so we've put a little hat. I think that would look nice. And the other place that I think would be quite good is around the edge of her, around the edge of the, of the bottom of her skirt. See, I think that would look quite good along here like that right so now i know that that looks quite good now do i want to put 
dashes in there. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. If I did, I'd probably make them, yeah, maybe. Well, let's just put a couple of squares in because you can always make, see, that's underneath there, isn't it? Then this one goes over the top, so it's got to look a bit different. That actually looks quite nice with the big, big squares. Then this one again. So my eight o'clock show on the craft store, I mean, Paul's carrying on at, um, at 12 o'clock or four o'clock, but that's me now. That's me till January. That's not bad. You know, I need a break. I need a break. Right, so so I think that looks quite good. And we can always, because we know where the registration mark is, we can always add a little bit more of a doodle, can't we? Okay, so I know what I'm going to do now. I don't have to, that I don't need to transfer. But I know that I like it. And I know I'm using the 005 pen. So have you got these yet? Got to get these. Well, no, not really. You can use a biro. But I'm using the thinnest one, 005. Okay. Right, let's have a look. And so I'm just going to, I need a little bit of copy paper just to check my pen. And then we can settle in. I will be on the telly. Hang on a minute. Let me think. Right, thin line here. I will actually be, let me jiggle it around so that it ties in with what um what Marina's done. There you go, nice. There you go, little gaps. Looks good. A bit more knitted effect, isn't it? A bit scrank. Like, there you go. There you see, no one will ever know. Um, yes. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. I'll be on the telly. On the craft store at 11 in the morning. So I'm going to have to teleport myself up there at 11. And at 7 in the evening as well. Be the same. I'm going to say exactly the same thing at 7 too. <laughs> so if you fancy just. It's a really. I think it's going to be a really nice little show with Yanis. And um, there. Doesn't that look pretty? See. Changes the hat. Look. Single line, double line. And you're getting the feel, aren't you? Um, yeah, so it would be a show with Yanis. That'd be nice. And don't forget at, um, I know we're going to do this large one here, at 10 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day. Right, let's go that way. Here we go. You and I are going to get together in the shack just for a coffee or a cup of tea and a mince pie hey we'll part the diet maybe a croissant for breakfast there that's pretty and we'll just just say happy christmas to each other which wish each other well huh because there are people who, who will be alone at Christmas, you know? For whatever reason, that's the game. That's the way, that's, that's the fact. And so, so let's get together and let's... Let's get together. Let's just... Do what we do all year round, which is support each other. Huh? Well, I hang out together for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, not a full hour. So you don't have to worry about your turkey. Anyway, listen, the way it's going, you're going to have all the time in the world. <laughs> we, could, we could sit and eat turkey together all day. <laughs> in fact, yeah. Well, can we leave this one open? <laughs> Oh, you've got to laugh. You do. You have to laugh. You can't, you cannot be despondent about this. Just accept it for what it is. Like Grace says, well, what the, 
is it? <laughs> if it is, it is. Just, just accept it, okay? Control the controllable. You can't control what's going on. Can't, you know? So just chillax. Be all right. It will be all right. It will be all right. We just got to, you've just got to do what you know is sensible, you know? Don't worry about what they're doing. It's none of our business. You and I need to know what, don't, you know, so he wants to have a cheese and wine pie. Well, whatever, you know, that's that. What are we going to do to stay safe and to keep smiling? That's what this is all about. It's about your own personal comfort. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how it is, you know. So just keep smiling. It will be fine. It will be fine. It will. So look, you wouldn't know that we've added a little bit of a difference until you compare them. And then you think, oh, yeah, her dress looks a little bit busier there than there. And her hat definitely looks a little bit different. But what's nice is it's given us a couple of little colouring opportunities. So that's cool. See, and if you want to add any more, this is just the way to do it. It's just to add it and then you can go, all right, what else do I want to do? So before you do it on here and then go, ah, now I've overcooked it, which is our want. It's what we do, isn't it? Before you do that, just take your tracing paper Check out what it is you're going to, what you're thinking of doing and then go, yeah, don't, not so keen or yeah, yeah, that looks good. So it's this, isn't it? Erring on the side of caution. That's it. And I'll tell you what, this will be useful when we go to add our strength and adversity. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's going to be way too big around the front here. In fact, she's, that's going around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how the tracing paper trick will work. So let's do this thing, shall we? You ready to start colouring? Come on. You'll be fine. Got my tracing paper out of the way. And breathe. Hey. And breathe. Be all right. You rock. Right, colour. Which colour are you going to use? You need. All right, let me show you. I'm cheating now. Well, it's not cheating. Paloma. Let me show you Paloma printed on parchment. You see? Because we print Paloma on parchment. In fact, we print Paloma in black and white as well. So all these things that we're showing you on the craft store at the moment with the printed flowers, the beautiful, the amaryllis and the, and the Christmas rose and all those things that Paul is talking about. It's, we've already printed in color on parchment. We've printed in black on parchment, but we've never printed in white on parchment. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. And I'm gonna use her color combination because I love the way she's colored this in. So we've got a little bit of green and yellow in the hat. We've got a red jumper. Mm. So it's green, yellow, red. Should we get our colours together? What should we use? I'll use whatever I've got. Let me use some perga liners. I'll use a bit of this, a bit of that. This is a beautiful Christmas present. Friends, I'm sure we've still got these in stock. Haven't we, Paul? Oh, Paul, have we got these in stock? The Rolls Royce of the colouring world. Oh, yes. Right, pergolina. Oh, no, I want the red one at this end. I'm going to use that one. Because the B pencils are the same type of pencil as the polychromos, okay? So I'm going to use that one because I know more of you have got these than the Rolls Royce. More of us drive a micro, don't we? Right, that'll do. Okay, we've got that one. And then a green. I'm going to go with the yellow. These could do with a bit of a sharpen, really. I left mine at the Le Studio. Let's have a look. There's a little bit of a... 
<laughs> run around this morning. <laughs> all right, then. It's all right. Keeps you fit. Let me see if I've got... It's a bit sharper, that one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, let's get the red gout down first. Okay. We'll leave her to the side. Okay. And we've got a bit of copy paper just to test our colours and get... Yeah, that'll do. And so the first thing we'll do is let's just add a layer of red to Paloma's jumper, shall we? And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do circular, like that, all the way around. So you, slowly you're going like that. What you're doing is making a coil. See, if I was doing it large, that's what I'm. That's how I'm drawing, like that. Except I'm doing it so tightly, the coil. But in actual fact, that's the way my the direction of my pencil, like that. Okay. So let's do a jumper, shall we? Starting at the top. Right here we go. Just a light layer of red in that spiral effect, and then we'll do the sleeve as well. There we are. This is this is just what the doctor ordered. You know that. Let's just get that red in. Where else are we putting some red in? Let's do some red around the. This is all red as well. The cuffs. Hmm? And the other sleeve in the background. Do you know what I think is always a good idea when you're doing work like this? Apart from making the artwork come to you like this is um, to lay down a light colour, just almost that faint, everywhere where you want to do the red. So, for example, the red is going to be here. See, if you do it now, just a light. Don't forget, this is what you're doing. Yeah? It doesn't take long. And then there's a, look, there's a red one, then there's a white one, then there's a red one. Okay, let's just do what she did, because then there's a white one, then there's a red one. And there's a white one, there's a red one. White one, red one. And then round the neck, red one at the back. White one, red one. White one, red one. So if you lay down the colour, and we've got another red one here. Just a light... Just, she's got little red socks on. Everywhere where you want red, do it now. So this little package in the, in here is also red. Don't have to colour it in beautifully. Just colour it in lightly, so that you know that this is where you're gonna, you're going to focus on that in a minute. The other thing about what we're doing here, as you know, hang on, I'm going to put a little bit of red in that scarf there too. There we are. Yeah, I think that. Oh, and there's a little bit of red on a robin. He's a robin redbreast. There you go. Little flash of red. That little fella. And that looks like there's a couple of little berries and what have you. But we could do that afterwards when we've got a sharp pencil. So we've done all the red that we want to do. Now, what red did I use? B11. And yes, we do have Faber-Castell in stock. So if you're feeling that you want to treat yourself or somebody to a tin of 60 Faber-Castells, then by all means, go for it. Now let's have a look. I've got the, I'm going to indulge. What greens have we got here? Just let me have a little look. Oh, lots of greens. That looks quite nice, that one. That looks like the kind of green wonder what do i think oh barbara have you put your christmas decorations up yet have you have you already see that that those two greens go quite well together well let's mix and match them so i'm going to use the pergolina the limey green one all right so let's put the green down let's just put a light color in so this is green here That's green there. Then it goes white. Then it goes green again. Then it goes white. Then it goes green. 
See, we've changed it a bit because we've added, haven't we? We've added another little layer. <laughs> so what should we do there then? We could always, hang on, green, white, green, white, green, white, green. That's it. See, we could put a little flash of red in there, couldn't we? Or dark green. Let's not over, let's not over think this gray. And then we've got a little bit of holly green. We'll just do just do a light layer. That'll do. It. Oh, we've got berries as well. We could do that later. Got a little bit of green on this little parcel. That's nice. That's nice. Got green shoes on. She's got green shoes on. Hmm? Use the light green. Because we can always add darker green, can't we? Don't you find this relaxing? I do. Be all right. <laughs> I keep saying it'll be all right. <laughs> Write this, could you? What's going on in our in our green and pleasant land? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And the thing is, because I don't watch the news much, right? Because <laughs> it does my head in. So, so I wasn't even aware of what you know the the rumblings of 10 Downing Street. I didn't even know what was going on. And so, <laughs> so I, so I woke up to this stuff yesterday and everybody was already sick of it. And it's like, sick of what? What? Sick of listening to it. And, it, and I'm thinking, what have I missed? <laughs> what have I missed? And then you think it doesn't affect you, right? Well, it doesn't, does it? It's none of my business. But it did affect us. It affects our business because everybody's attention is on on that stuff, you know. Never mind. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, my. Right. Cracking on. Right, we need some red on her pocket as well. I've missed the red on her little pocket. Let's add some red there. But we're going to leave that little heart white. This is You could play spot the difference with these, couldn't you? Right, so we've got the red. We've got that. And we've got little flashes of green and that. We can put that in afterwards, though. I think the main thing now is to start working on the actual colour. So what we're going to do now is go in again but add some shadow. So let's go back. Let's go back exactly the way we, we, we came. <laughs> let's do this again. Go back to the beginning. And then let's just start. Same thing. It's this again, right? It's that same thing. But what we're going to do is add another layer. Yeah. Just keep doing it. And you'll find... When you do it softly, because these are wax-based pencils, they're waxy, they're oily, what happens is if you press too hard straight away, it creates like a seal. It goes shiny, right? Once you've done that, you can't, you can't add any more depth. It's like you've created a, a block. Do you remember? We talked about this last year. And so then what you – it's not terminal, though. All you do is take your – eraser pencil, your pink one, and just basically break the surface again, okay? So you break the surface and you, you break the seal that you've created with the wax, and then you can go back and you can add more depth again, layer on layer on layer. And you can go a lot darker if you do it this way, and it becomes a lot smoother. So what you're trying to do when you rub when you use an eraser to break the seal on the top, really all you're doing is creating purchase again. It's creating 
like traction or purchase. It's got it's got some kind of something to grip onto then when you're going over it. Yeah. And the other way to make these really smooth, if you, if you wanted to make it super smooth, is to do what we're doing on the telly with the parchment. Um, use dorsal oil because it works really nicely on if you want to smooth this out and don't want the gritty look, just use oil. Just use the, 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 the dorsal oil. Works really well. But you know what? This is more for therapy than anything, isn't it? For, well, for me it is. Right, so what we're going to do now is where we're... Let's try this then. Because this is a bit more of a knit, isn't it? So what we're going to do, instead of just colouring in, put little lines as if they were like cable stitch. Or, so you just put little lines going that way, like that, before you, you cover up, go again. So what you're doing is you're adding a little bit of texture as you're doing it. It's quite fun. Yeah, that looks quite good. Let's do one more like that and then I'll come up close so you can see what I'm talking about. So you put the lines in, see, in the same direction. That's quite nice. But then rather than leave it that kind of candy cane look, because that's not what we're after, then you go back in and go over it, but you've still got that texture in the background. And if you go over the line, I wouldn't sweat it. She dropped a stitch. Right, let's do her little legs. There you go, little tiny leg. Nice. That's it. And then where else we got scarf? Here we go. Stripy scarf. But this is more for texture than anything, isn't it? You all right? You smiling? You may as well. You don't get paid any extra for being miserable, do you? <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. Don't get me started. Mm -hmm. Be all right. Is that a little bit? If I say that one more time, you have permission to switch me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, a little bit of shadow. See? Comes together quite quickly. Under her arm, we'll put another little layer because there would be, it'd be darker there, wouldn't it? And we're using the same colour. All the time. Oh, we missed a bit in her scarf as well. Now, which way is the striping going, though? Wrong way, Grey. The striping's going around the scarf, isn't it? It didn't suddenly change direction just because her neck's in the way. It's going this way. That way. Isn't it? Stripes that way. See? That work? Cool. So you got that texture idea, and just blend it in. Mm -hmm. Now we we'll go another layer. Oh, we've got a little bit of scarf there as well. Right. The other thing about the nice thing about Marina's artwork is that it's it's sort of sketchily drawn, isn't it? So as far as I'm concerned, we can sketchily colour it in. <laughs> Let's just have a go at that little parcel there. Add another layer, eh? I know this is a simple thing, this colouring in. But it's what's... It's, I think it's what's needed right now. You know that, friends? I think this is exactly what's needed right now. It's a little bit of therapy, a little bit of calm. Yeah, a little bit of acceptance. Mm. Let's do the green now. At this time, I think we'll blend the green. So I'm going to do the light limey green, which is B7. Yeah, go on, say after me. It'll be all right. <laughs> It'll be all right. It will be all right. 
It will. It is what it is. <laughs> Just got to keep it simple. There we go. Now, let's add another little layer of the light green up here. And then what we'll do is we'll add a flash of the darker green for the shadow. I'm going to put some darker green in, travelling upwards. And it's all about the pressure. Yeah, this will look good. This is a nice green. We can put a bit of blue over it as well if we want to tone it down a bit, can't we? Which green have I used? What's this one called? Leaf green. There you go. Nice. Zesty. Leafy green. There, that looks good. See, we're just adding a little bit of a flash of colour. Now we're going to flick over. I think that this would probably look really nice if you actually... I'll bet this would look nice. If you put the dark green... Yeah. You know the, the, the pattern that we added, the little stripe? I reckon this would look quite good in dark green all the way up. See? Just, and then coming down and pressing a bit harder down the bottom. Yeah, absolutely lovely. So light to the top and then dark to the bottom. Uh -huh. Nice. I think one of the things that I've um, started teaching myself to do, and you're going to wonder what on earth I mean by this, um, I've started trying to, if I said lower my expectations, that sounds really bad because it sounds like I'm let me just explain what I mean when I say lower my expectations what I mean by that is find joy in simpler things that are um, possible and that I do every day right because life is a little bit restrictive at the moment let's call it that right so I could, I could get very angry or frustrated or because I can't go and have breakfast with my friends in Tunbridge Wells. Not that I would, but, you know. So, of course, I'd be disappointed then because my expectation was to go and have brunch with girlfriends in Tunbridge Wells. Um, but if I lower my expectations and I say, well, actually, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with, I can find joy in things that aren't that adventurous, you see? It's like, I can find joy in putting the kettle on and having a coffee with my husband or because I'm allowed to do that and that's actually very achievable and so that way I'm not frustrated. I'm quite cool with what I can do, you see. So I've lowered my expectations and that's what I meant by that. So, for example, I can't go to America to see to, to New Mexico. I can't, I can't do that. I haven't been able to do that for a couple of years now. Um, but rather than... be frustrated that I can't, tra I'm not traveling, right? What I'm saying is I'll lower my expectations. I'll find joy in what I can do. I find joy in going for a walk up on the forest um, with Dave. I, it's, that's what I mean by lowering my expectations. If I keep insisting in my head that I should be doing this and I should be doing that, then I'm going to be I'm going to be constantly frustrated because I can't do those things because they're not available to me. So I have to find joy in the things that I can do. Do you see? And that's what I mean by lowering my expectations. It doesn't mean my world is shrinking. It just means 
that I'm, I find joy in lighting a candle, in, in colouring in this little girl and hanging out with you. Or you see, do you, do you see what I mean? Now let's have a look. I need, I just need a blue pencil. Have you got a blue pencil? We used to have, I wonder where I've put them. Should have looked for this earlier. I might have to go with that other blue. There's a really nice sky blue that's in the, um, there's a pack of 12, isn't there? Hang on, let me see if I've got my, I've got my other set of Faber-Castell polychromos. Um, let me see if I've got it in there. There's a sky blue. Do you want to be, do you want pencil envy? Oh, <laughs> check this out. Hey, look at that. I know, that's 120 of them, but I'm looking for the sky blue. Yeah, there she is. We we do um we do a set of twelve with all the greys and the blues in. And this sky blue I included in it. Because I want to show you how to make white. Because otherwise it'd be quite hard this to do white. So why don't we use a grey as well? There's a there's a nice grey, there's a couple of greys in the tin of sixty, and, and the set of twelve. That's got so they lovely. They've got gold, the gold and the silver and the copper, the metallics in those in that set are really cool as well. But we're gonna have to try and put a bit of color into see if I color it in, in white, then what I've got is white, isn't it? So let's do a little bit of blue. And we're just gonna write really lightly, right? Again, we don't want to put blue over the whole thing, but we're just gonna. It's the blue that will make the white pop. Okay, so a little bit of white, a little bit of grey. Let's do that now. We'll do her, let's do her wing. Let's have a look, what have we got here? So we've got this area here. So we'll just add a little bit of blue there. Not too much, just a flash. That works. There you go, and we'll do a little bit of blue behind. So we're doing a bit of, if you called it negative colour, see, it's the bit behind that's going to make it pop. Let's get in there and just add a little bit of depth in the background, behind the wing, behind, not in the wing, a little bit in the wing because it's translucent. But you see how that's starting to, little tiny flash of blue. Yeah, just lightly, you can always add it. And you can also take it away with an eraser pencil, so don't, don't worry about it. This is not the sort of stuff. What's the point of worrying about this stuff, eh? What's the point of worrying about any of it, really, eh? To be fair. There we go. Be all right. <laughs> but you get what I mean about lowering your expectations? It's like um, acceptance, isn't it? It's like, well, this is what we can do. And this is, you know, oh, this is where the blue will come in nicely. A little bit of a flash of blue through there. That would look so pretty. Um, just every other one, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I hope you know, you understand what I mean when I say that. I think we have to look for joy in the simple things. You know, is that kind of, I'm not saying, you know, yeah, it is. It's that kind of chop wood, carry water kind of thing. You know, let's get back to real simple things that we do every day. And let's see if we can't find some joy in them. A bit of blue in that. You know, and then we'll put the grey in the background. See how nice that is? Just a little flash of blue. Let's do the sum in her hat as well. And then we'll come in with the grey. So a little bit of blue, but this time, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a little bit of flicking. So just a bit of flicking on the outside. Here we go. 
a bit of blue around the bottom because that's there we go lighter up there isn't it it's a flash of blue and the blue is what makes the white see cool and then we'll get some gray going actually we need some of this on here as well a little bit of this as well And I know I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Gratitude. Get a gratitude list going. Honestly, it helps so much. Sometimes I forget. And then and then, it, it can transform my day. It can realign my day, reframe my day, just by saying, well, stop moping. Think about what you've got to be grateful for. All the things that you've got to be grateful for. Just make a list. Get grateful. Develop an attitude of gratitude. It will be better for you. You know, it will work. It does work. It really does. I've done it for years. Doesn't that look good? Building her up slowly. Right, so now let's have a look. Actually, we need a little bit of the blue in the scarf as well, don't we? Because this is white scarf bit just a little flash of blue through here yeah not much it's not easy this is really right and then in the hat as well a bit of blue we're going to come in with gray in a minute and do some shading though just a flash of blue there oh there's another one of them yeah but please don't misunderstand when i say lowering our expectations all I, all I, I, I think for, I can speak for myself, if you don't mind. Um, when I say that, what I mean is, I'm not going to stubbornly insist that life is normal and I'm being robbed of things that I couldn't do before. Um, no, I'm lowering my expectations to the things that I can do now. You know. Um, it's not all bad. Just got to work with the workable, control the controllable. Make the, you know, what do they always say? When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And that may be cliche, but it is the truth, you know. It is the truth. So a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of a smile. All you got to do is get through today. What about tomorrow? Don't start worrying about Christmas. See, I made the big mistake of thinking about my turkey. And are the kids going to come home? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And before you knew it, I was in tears. And I thought, Barbara, for crying out loud, what are you thinking of? <laughs> First of all, I don't even know I'm going to get a bloody turkey. <laughs> Let alone if they're going to come home and eat it with me. So what is my problem? Hmm? I know. <laughs> therefore I'm going to keep it in the day I'm doing it one day at a time which reminds me did you know that we got an award for our blog I say we barbagrayblog.com I think that's what it's called barbagrayblog.com yeah we got the craft award for 2021 woohoo I know that was quite nice thank you very much if you voted for me or voted for us we also got highly recommended for uh what do we get we've got highly recommended for customer service hats off to the front room girls that'll be janine and grace and and the pickers and the packers and the whole team really that's customer service uh we've got highly recommended there what else did we get oh yeah we've got highly recommended best stamps which i was very pleased about so we see i haven't lost our magic oh yeah Got that one, that one. Oh, and the Shack Shack. Yes, we got highly recommended for the Shack Shack too. Yeah, we all deserve a pat on the back for that one. Yeah, isn't that great? Hmm, that was it. So it's a great little community and we got recognized for being a great little community. Isn't that lovely? Thank you for voting if you did. Right, see how that, it's nice. 
It's nice how the, the blue makes the white pop, doesn't it? Hey? What we'll do now is we'll take a bit of grey. So let's see which grey do we want to use. So don't want to go too dark straight away. But because we've only put a, a, a light flash of grey. See, let's have a look. Maybe we want to add a little bit more than that. Let's see, what else have I got? A uh, darker grey. What have I got here? Cold grey, five. That'll do. Let's see if that's a bit better. There you go. So you see, what I'm doing now, let me show you. The, the grey, you could do this with a pencil, do you know that? If you haven't got these posh pencils, do not fear. You can do this with your, your graphite pencils. Yeah, you're going to get the same effect. What you're doing is you're making the, the white, the translucency pop by concentrating in, on the background, you see? It's nice to do. See, so here, for example, you can't see what's a wing, what, what's the background. Let's concentrate on the background, the backdrop. And if I go in now, light feathery strokes, you watch just a tiny little flash of colour like that. And straight away, you can see what's a, what's a feather. What's a feather? <laughs> Not a feather. What are these called? Wings. The girl's got wings. There, see? And immediately, because we've added a little flash of colour there, I may even add a little bit of that light grey in there just to tone it up a bit or down there you go just a little bit of a drop shadow but check it out just kiss the curb kiss this side and then there you see so you come around see that bit there just flash through there and you want to add a little bit more depth there then do if you feel you've overcooked yeah see Cool. So this little area here, for example, we could add a little tiny bit of depth in there. What have we got going on here? A bit of blue on the... Hey, Just a bit of blue. That's it. A bit of blue in there. A bit of blue in the scarf. Yeah, the skirt. Let's take a look at the skirt. We haven't done much in the skirt. Let's do some blue in the pleats. Marine has given you really just lightly feather the blue into the the line art that she's provided us with. Works beautifully. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There you go. So that little, what's, what we got going on here? Oh, I think that's a skirt. That's a, that's a, that's, so this is a bit of the skirt. There you go. So you use the colour to separate out the bits, don't you? Nice, eh? So we've done that, we've done that. You've got a yellow. Have you got a nice yellow there? Just do the scar, the star. That'll do. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the star. better. Let's tidy it up a bit. Just layers, eh? It's been nice to come home and hang out with you. Add a bit of yellow to this. Zhuzh it up a bit. Um, yeah, it's been nice to come home and hang out with you. And I'm going to take the rest of the day off. I'm taking the rest of the day off. It's official. Yeah, I am. I've done my blog. I posted that. Uh, what else have I done? Done my TV show. Don't forget to go and watch Paul. I've got to do some cleaning. But it's all right. I actually enjoy cleaning. It's that thing that we were talking about, about um, not lowering my expectations, 
but finding joy in the mundane things, the things that we never really think about, you know, you just rattle through them, don't think about them. And now I kind of say, right, okay, I've got some ironing to do. And, and I'm listening to a really nice book so I can combine the two and I can listen to my lovely book and be productive there. Or, you know, or, or I make a cup of tea and rather than just do it without even thinking. You know what I mean? It's like when you drive and you've driven half a mile and you don't even remember going under the bridge. You think, well, you must have gone under the bridge because there's a bridge on the way. And yet your mind is not present. You're not in it, are you? And so, so when I, when I, this whole lowering my expectations thing, what that, what I'm trying to teach myself to do is, is kind of concentrate on what it is I'm doing in the moment. And that's where this little pocket coloring exercise, what we've been doing here, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for that because I have to really check what I'm doing, what I'm coloring in, where I'm going to put a little flash of red, where I'm going to put a little flash of green. See, I want to add a little bit of green in the, I do want to add a little bit of green in the scarf. Maybe not loads, but in that, you know that stripe that we, we added a stripe, didn't we? How about we just put a little flash, not too much, just a little dot, dot. Yeah. Look, you don't have to colour it all in. Just add a little dribble of green. That look, look, nice. See? That looks quite good. Hmm? I like that. I like that a lot. And then if you want to tone this gr green down to dark... I wonder if we can find a good blue. What am I drawing on here? See, that's quite a good blue. What one have I got here? Uh, Prussian blue. That's quite nice. There's a nice dark blue in the, yeah, there's a nice dark blue in the um, in the set as well, in the pergoliners. Oh, I haven't got it in this. So you go over the green, because I didn't press too hard. You watch. And you can just get a really lovely shade and i'm totally in this like 100 percent engrossed in this the other day i was at pottery and um, the young lad that's a technician very talented young lad he came up and he said oh what have you been doing today barbara and i showed him and i said three hours of really inexpensive therapy and i was as happy as a little clam and, you know, the result, what, it, what I was actually making wasn't as important as the process. I find that often. It's, it's, it's not so much what I'm doing. It's, or it's not so much the, the, the product or what I end up with. It's the, it's the process, you know. That's more important to me than anything but see so you get a really nice shade lightly does it doesn't that look good mm. so i look forward to seeing some of your lovely poppets i think i'm going to love you and leave you now because it's nearly 11 o'clock and i know that paul needs to get ready to go to um to do the the 12 o'clock show on the craft store. So do please join him. Have a look at these masterpieces of artwork, this parchment art. And it's so inexpensive, these teaching packs. And I think it's something, it's not, I don't think, I know, it is something that we will be introducing into the shack to, to bring something new to the shack and to the Groovy Shack Shack in February. I think we'll start introducing these packs. So don't think you're buying them and then you're going to be left wondering what to do with them. We're going to hold you by the hand and we're going to just hone those beautiful white work and colouring skills. So I'm going to say goodbye uh, for now. When's the next time we're going to see each other? Let me see. Well, next Thursday, of course. Next Thursday at 10 o'clock, as usual, I'll think of something nice to do. And don't forget, uh, 12 o'clock, Paul is on the craft store. So thanks, Paul, for your help. And uh, be safe. Be safe. Control the controllable. Take it one day at a time and keep smiling. Make something. Lots of love. Bye now. Bye-bye.